like myself. I like it. So I don't know some smoke is coming in it. Hey, as you're talking to me, I catch my could be our first few yes, guesses, alright. No, it's not What's up guys? Heading back out in the kayak today. Last because I kind of feel what you're doing fishing, you never give up. So we're going to try them again. The goal this morning, catch our breakfast. Some nice qualia, plain snappers, redfish, beachy, nice salmon, anything we take in. The only problem I have today is I only have some shrimp as bait. That's it. So I might try to catch some live bait and see if we can do something with that. It's about 6 to 8 we get enough. Alright guys, really lacking bait. Trying to get some live bait. I've seen some small fish here. I throwed some cat food out there actually. So I don't know if some small fish come and eating it. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Just the live bait I wanted. Okay, great. Okay, so I threw some cat food, took a walk, came back, and here we have some bait. This one come out of us to one time, man. Call these flinch, I don't know what you guys call them. Flinch or blinch. They're actually pretty good bait for redfish. Well yeah. So at least I have something other than shrimp. So check it out. Hi guys, we are about to head out now on the kayak. Just caught some live bait. Check out this. I see live well, so hopes are high. We're gonna head out now, trying to get some breakfast. Play our dogs up back in. So the goal is some waliak, redfish, beachin, salmon, anything we take in. We're gonna head out there. Water looking good. Some shrimp and some small blinch as live bait. Let's see if we catch anything. Fish on, guys. All right, guys, we're outside. So we tried the kayak mission once, we failed, we come back out again. I was lacking bait, but luckily I'm casting it. Catch a few live baits. Have them floating behind here. Make ship live well. Check them out. So hopefully they survive. I actually like that bait for redfish, Hawaliak. So we go and try them for about two hours. We get some action, that'll be real good. The goal is to catch with breakfast today. Let's see how it goes. Have some shrimp too. So we fish in water looking real nice. Like hope it stays that way. Check it out. So I catch you when we drop a line out there. Hey guys, so we just reach out. I want myself a live bit. To come with that. So this is bait here guys. I actually really like this redfish. It's gonna stick him to the top of the eye. That very small hook. This rod is actually a running line style. I'm gonna cast him out a little bit away from him. Let you sing down there. Only be drag slack on this. 
and hopefully something cooking to a nice red. Not the best life, well, but hopefully the fellas survive. Well, oh, wow. this next bait here, I have a next one in line here. I want to hope this one different. I want to hope this one through the body, like about there. this fella all right guys I need you bank in line on the next rod shrimp go and drop it on if I get any bites you know you're gonna be seeing it two hours two hours to get some nice fish what are looking good I hope it stays soon just got the first bite on the shrimp guys it's in about five minutes it's your first touch the one thing i do have today is anything to make fresh to bring the fish to me so one or two shrimp i'll just take and just mash it up in the water i mean the fish have a great sense of what do you call it smell but if i had a little joshua bonito but if i catch any small fish i could slice them up on three waters fresh one thing I really do have. Got this small fish guy, got this small fish. Let's see what it is. Oh no, that is a not a good sign. Look at the size of that little catfish. That is what we do not want to see at all. Please tell me you are alone down there. You are no family. Just got the second bite on the small rod here guys. Small bite again. This bee buzzing around me. I don't know what you hell wrong with this bee. Like once I found the GoPro, the fish is still biting. I went fishing two nights ago. You know, I don't film any night. I caught my biggest snook ever in Trinidad. Light tackle fishing, 4,000 size reel, number 10 J hook, and a little live bait of a jetty. Monster fella, monster fella. I'll pop a picture right here for you to check him out. Meantime, we go wait for this 7 ounce fish to come back and take the line. Alright, guys, this feels like a decent fish on the small rod here. Decent. I mean, we could probably cook. Oh no! Nice catfish, though. Fudge! These guys are wrong. Fishing will not be nice today. Ah! Uh, he actually wrapped the line to her. We sold it out. Need to get back my hook, bro. not a good sign guys that's not a good sign catfish number three guys i didn't even pony go put her up him up because i know where it was so how things looking if i catch a nice big catfish i'm going to eat him i will fill him and i will eat him for breakfast you don't want to be too big once i think i can get to a decent fillet out of him we go eat him I like to eat catfish, I normally the big ones, but these small fellas is trouble. Alright guys, this is like a slightly bigger fish. Look at that catfish and they're still not big enough to eat. Oh lord boy. Uh, number five. Something on the hand line guys, on the flinch bait. Not really pulling that hard as yet. I doubt a catfish taking this man. I doubt, I doubt, I doubt. Could be our first. Yes, it's a red. No, it's a snook. What the hell? The snook take the bledge. <laughs> so we have we breakfast. What the hell he take my next line to? 
Nice. Is it called a sword spine snook, guys? Nine or 14 inches. They don't get very big. So he's perfectly good eating size. Nice. We have breakfast. Give him a hook, bro. And he swallowed the hook too, so that'll be pressure. On the live bait flinch. Yes, I'm gonna stay a little bit more. Don't mind the catfish here. Watch the bait there, guys. Watch the bait. <laughs> bro, well, he can go survive anyway, so. Nice breakfast. Chill out. Right there for now. Okay, guys, that's our update. Trouble caught two live baits, and I just had this rod in the water. And well, whew, at least size of these first one was a seal cut, one is a normal catfish. But I don't want to move yet because you catch the snook, so we'll give it a little bit. I will use more of the live bait, even on the banking line, I'll cut up one in half and throw it out. Try and avoid these catfish. See the seal cat? Longer fins, longer whiskers, very small one. And the regular catfish, much shorter fins, the whiskers much shorter as well, they call it a hard head in America. Both of them get chuck you pretty badly. Alright, I'm gonna put one through the head. I'm gonna put this through like this. Let's see if that might avoid the catfish. If we do get no bites, so we'll go change it, but them catfish and them long, they're sick. Just picked up this line, guys. Hope is not an eel. Just caught an eel, actually, guys. Didn't show it on camera. You just tangle up all out. same time this one feeling like a reds like bait as well come fish the anchor rope is dangerously close this one feeling like a reds first pull off he pull he's not fighting anymore I don't know if he tangled up on the anchor rope See that fish down there? See that fish down there? Oh my goodness. That is not a fish. Look at his side of you. Well, yeah, you could take that hook and go. Damn it. Alright, guys, that was a monster eel. TV live way too. That's why I got excited. Open it was our reds. Check my new system. Need two baits, get three. Good to go. And you see, they're still living really. A couple of them kept out, but I was gonna hook up the net and whatnot. But there we go again. Comrades, find the line. Something on the live bait on the rod, guys. Something on the live bait on the rod. This cannot be a catfish. No, this is the live bait. Oh my. This catfish taking everything the live bait and only take. Wow. Catfish and I'm brutal out here today, buddy. Next rod, you're not buying it.
just gonna get a nice little skeet over there, buddy. Alright guys, this is what took over the line just now. A little reds way and he swallowed the hook. I might be able to save him. Live weight again guys, check him out. He's about 8 inches. I'm going to put him in the bucket in the back to see if he catch back himself. Oh god, he kind of swallowed though. Bro. Alright, alright, that wasn't too bad. So I'm going to put him in the bucket here. But the rest are live bait, hopefully they'll kill them. But guys will be targeting with a live bait all morning. But one about twice that size. He's on the line all the time, guys. I didn't only go pro and I've had to pull it up. I might skate up just now. So. Alright, update time, guys. We have about 45 minutes of fishing again. Real catfish. One nice little sword, spine, snook, and a little red just take the, the live bait. As we was going for, oh, and a couple of eels, including a real big one. But there's real catfish out here today, and they don't trim back the shrimp anymore. All the lines have these small live baits, and they cut live bait. Check the little redfish. So I think he's doing okay. So I'll release him. If I can catch him, no. That is the hard thing. Oh, yeah. Come oh, no, on, man. Easy. You want to go back? I actually want to catch one of these for a specific reason. This is a Waliak, guys. Lane snapper. You can see the lanes on it. That's why they call that lane snapper. We call them redfish in Trinidad or Waliak. Um, they get about, the biggest I've seen, about four pounds. They do get a little bigger, but you hardly ever catch them bigger than that. I want to tell you more than father to come by. Some things get off on this, guys. I do not think it is an eel. I really don't think it's an eel. This one actually kind of swim a little bit. Come on, let's just see what it is. Small hook, very thin leader. That is where the challenge is about. Definitely not at you. Come on, let's see what you are, man. sign as yet water is our duty today nice way holy catfish still can't see nothing with this fish as well it's a bad sign you can't see it you know that means a dark color Taking my time with it. Hoping the leader don't cheat for me. That is all. Good hook set and we should be okay. Oh no. Suspected. Stingray. Lad. I'm alive with it bro. You do me that boy. What a day, man. Check him out, guys. Well, we gotta cut this line without getting. Damn it. Leg sight, man, but not what we want. Only live beat. After the react came in a little closer here guys, just to try a little... <laughs> 10 minutes 
and you can see what is the same thing how close the shore is these catfish was a pain today by the way one nice fight was a stingray at least i don't know how to eat catfish all right guys so five more minutes out here and then we'll go and cook we breakfast whoa How's your life, bait boy? Nice bite, boy. Wait, check that bite now, boy. Hmm, that look like a reds. So, you going to have a video with that? I did it already. Hey, as you're talking to me, I catch my I catch a fish, boy. Hey, grunt, boy, grunt. So, you catch the fish, people? Real people here listening to music and all kind of damn thing. Yeah, I'm trying to go. I want to do my catch, catch and cook, but I can't do them people pumping all the music. Dude. Yeah, so what are you going to do? I might just go drive down a little further and just. Alright, guys. Alright, guys. Trying to do an outro here. I got a bite on the small rod. Only catfish, 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 catfish. Two decent fish we catch, a little reds and a little snook. So I'm going to head out to the water now. See if I can cook them up and make a nice little fish sandwich. Next up, you'll see Money Show prepping the fish. We'll play music in the background so hopefully we can get it on. We'll see how it goes. Alright guys, back on shore, the plants for the catch and cook right here. You hear any music in the background? Can't record in that. And the next thing is forget the stove. Alright guys, so we're home now. We're going to get this catch and cook done. Basically I had everything that we needed except the stove. Some secret sauce as well. So we had a bread, secret sauce. Egg, corn flour, seasoning, plates, pan, everything guys. We had everything besides the stove. This is what we call a sword spine snook. You can see it's different from a regular snook. Coloration, this fin here is more pronounced and the lateral line goes straight through the tail. You can see that there? You can see that piece going there. So we're doing a quick fillet. I mean, got to be too accurate. Any meat off your skin. This is what we left with. We still have to take out these bones here. Now let's go to waste, guys. My cats eat all of these. And we have two boneless. Pieces of meat. All right, just some light seasoning on the fish here, guys. And you probably while cooking it here, this is the only piece of bush kind of have in my yard as I live in a concrete jungle, you know. So there's some light all-purpose seasoning. Mix it up. That's it for the seasoning. Nothing too special. Bowl, we're going to crack an egg. Eggshells are very good for your plants, guys. So, throw it out at one time. Mix this up. Coat these bad boys in that. Alright, in this plate, we have some corn flour, flour mixed with some seasoning in it. Paint some in this plate. Gotta put all because it's only two little pieces of fish. Alright. Get that egg on them. Alright. 
Alright, that should be good there. Set that aside. Set that aside. I'll get the stove cracking. We lighten. A little bit of oil. Fish is not going to take long to cook. Some tin pieces. Maybe about a minute and a half either side. Very quickly cooking, guys. About 30 seconds again. the egg so this is the balance of the egg we're gonna go in there with it Alright, so we see what we have here. We have tomato, cucumber, piece of sweet pepper. Nice toppings, man. Good for the plants. I'm a big fan of sweet pepper, guys. So that's why I try to put in everything. Alright, assemble. Pretty simple. I mean, anybody could assemble a sandwich. This is a protein filled sandwich guys. Egg, tomato, maybe we should put the sauce first then put these guys. My own homemade secret sauce guys, I'll put a recipe for this one day or I might have a video it. And it is this sauce. Fantastico. Don't worry, I did wash the cotton board after I filleted the fish. Everything can stay in there. Take a look at that sandwich, guys. Now we're trying to get me uh, some of taste in this thing. Here goes nothing. That's an awesome sandwich. Alright guys, you didn't get to do catch and cook by the show. Back came home, did it in the front yard, backyard, whatever you want to call it. Excellent. Fish didn't go to waste. Cook it up right here. Fish sandwich for breakfast. I passed and eat that late. We go do. I'll do we go do. Thanks as always for watching, guys. Remember to keep fishing. Fish on. Cool.